Hi, Francesco from Logify here, and today we're gonna look on how to customize the styles page in the website builder. Let's get started. The styles page is the go-to place to customize the graphics of your website. From the main menu, just click on the website builder and then select styles. Here, you don't need to save the edits because the system will do it automatically for you. Before you can start designing the website, you need to select the template. Here you have four you can choose from. The Livingstone template comes with a white hero image on the homepage and a menu bar that is overlapping in the picture. This template is great for pictures with high resolution. The Tideway template has a menu bar on the top and the rounded corners give it a softer look. The Capucine template differentiates itself through a classic look with a center logo and menu bar at the top. The slightly smaller hero image is great if you have pictures with a lower resolution. The Brooklyn template surprises with a mobile style menu icon that unfolds the menu sidebar and logo when clicked. This template stands out through a modern look with clear lines. You simply need to choose which one you like the best. To set up your website colors, you can select one of the preset color schemes from the drop-down menu. In case you don't like any of these, you're able to customize the whole color scheme from the drop-down menu. Just click on each color and then start modifying. To define your colors, you have a variety of options to pick a shade or use a hex color code. Buttons and actions change the color of the buttons, and in this case, also the highlighting effect on the menu items. To edit your font, you'll also find the dedicated section. Select a font for your text, website menu, and buttons from the drop-down menu. Then you can also customize further the buttons choosing from a solid or outline style and a sharp rounded or peel border. In the other options section, you can upload a hero image, meaning the background image of your website, and the headline appearing over the hero image. You can easily upload the image you prefer, and in case you decide to upload more than one, the system will automatically create a slideshow for you. At the bottom of the styles page, you can add the logo for your website. Just click on logo and upload the image of your choice. We recommend using a PNG format. You can also resize it to make it smaller or bigger. If you don't have an image to set as a logo, simply type the business name in the field below and choose its fonts and size. Here's a tip. Even if you have an image logo that includes your business name, you should fill in the correct business name anyways, as this is important for the search engine optimization. The tagline is the text that would appear below the logo. In case you want to use a tagline, you can type the text here and customize it further. Finally, you can also add a logo URL to redirect visitors of your website to your specific page when they click on your logo. Otherwise, the website will redirect the visitors to the homepage when clicking on the logo. Remember, all the changes you did so far will be present in the preview mode of your website, but remember also to publish your website to reflect all the changes in the live version of your website. To publish the website, simply click on the button at the top right that says Publish Website and then confirm by clicking Publish. So this brings us to the end of the video. If there is any particular topic that you would like us to cover in a video, just leave it in the comment below. And if you need further help from our support team, we will leave their information in the description below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.